Hello, my friends. Let's practice two more American English expressions about food. First, we have this expression. A good egg and a bad egg. Good egg and bad egg. Maybe you are thinking about this. <laughs> a good egg and a bad egg. But this expression is not really about food. It's about people. A person can be a good egg or a bad egg. Let's look at an example. She is so selfless and good to others. She's a good egg. My friends, what do you think it means if someone is a good egg? Yes, a good egg is a good, honest person. If you call someone a good egg, you are saying you are a good person. The opposite of that, a bad egg, would mean a poorly behaved or dishonest person. A good egg is the opposite of a bad egg. And again, my friends, we are talking about people. A good egg is a good person, and a bad egg would be a bad person. In a similar way, you can use a bad apple. Calling a person a bad apple is similar to calling them a bad egg. But of course, English is crazy. You can be a bad egg or a bad apple or a good egg, but you cannot be a good apple. We do not use good apple, only bad apple to talk about dishonest or poorly behaved people. Next, my friends, we have the expression to sell like hotcakes. You can see here in my picture, hotcakes are like pancakes. So what do you think it means if something sells like hotcakes? Of course, we are not really talking about pancakes here, but let's look at an example. When a new iPhone is released, they always sell like hotcakes. My friends, do you think new iPhones sell quickly or slowly? If you said quickly, you are correct. Sell like hotcakes means when an item sells very quickly, when many people want to buy something. When there is a new iPhone, many, many people want the new phone. So these phones sell like hotcakes, meaning they sell out very quickly. My friends, practice, practice and never give up.